Uh, I, my mother would say that it's rare that I'm at a loss for words, but here I am staring at the camera and thinking, how did I end up here? Right, it doesn't make sense to you. Uh, okay, uh, see this jacket? It's my grandfather's, the wear and tear. It's not for a show. Now, most people think I wear it to show off that I'm a legacy here, but I wear it because my grandfather wore it while attending Colvin. It's his legacy, not the school's, which is also why it doesn't make any sense that I would burn down a building in a place that meant so much to him. You know, my grandfather died just three days before I arrived here to start my freshman year. He left Wilson Corp and all the pressure that came with it to my mother, the infamous Dr. Wilson. And I actually had to skip freshman orientation to go to his funeral. But who really needs to get oriented in a place you practically grew up in? I mean, the family name is literally etched in the walls of the school. Yeah, sometimes I wonder if it was by my own free will that I chose to come here. Or if it was just me following the marching orders of my family name. You know, be a good boy and go to Colvin College like every Wilson before me. Which brings me back to this. I wear it as a reminder that even though I may carry the past with me, I'm the only one who gets to make my future. Oh man, I think old Michael's hyperbolic manner of speech is rubbing off on me. Next thing you know, I'll be the next Simon, forsaking the college experience to serve the professor high tea and transcribe his research notes. The problem right now is that I am one of those research notes. In the professor's constant search for truth, he is leaving no stone unturned to find out who started the fire. And apparently, I am one of those stones. You know, I always wanted to take his class. I think we all did, but I didn't think it'd be as a suspect or that I'd have to give a public alibi. These days, nepotism doesn't get you where it used to. <laughs> just joking. Okay, the day of the fire, I just finished my last test of the year and was looking to hit the gym. It was leg day. I never skip it. Uh, after that, I hit the showers and got all spiffed up but at the last minute I decided not to hit the end of the year party. Uh, because, well, because I was saving my stamina for something much more intimate. It is true that I passed the admin building on my way home from the gym and saw smoke billowing out of the windows. And admittedly, I started to panic a bit. But as I already mentioned, I called the authorities as soon as I saw what was going on. Once they confirmed they were on their way, I left safety first and all that.